Hello and welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's session, we'll see how to onboard our machine to Azure Arc service. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use the machine with the name TAR. So you can see this is running on Hyper-V and uh, we'll try to onboard this to Azure Arc service. So let's get started. Let me log into my Azure portal and uh, search for Arc. And you can see that uh, I can onboard servers, Kubernetes, cluster, SQL Server is also in preview. And you can also see from getting started page, if I move my cursor on the infrastructure, as of today, I can uh, onboard my servers, both Windows as well as Linux machine, Kubernetes cluster, as I said. If you're running SQL Server on-prem, it is also uh, in preview right now, and you can add that. That's in infrastructure. In data service, you can use uh, data controllers. SQL manage instance, if you're running, if you're familiar with that uh, within Azure platform, you can also use database as a service, such as single database, elastic pool, and manage instance. That is also in the preview, along with Postgres SQL. For this demonstration, we are talking about uh, onboarding on-prem machines. So let me just go and click on servers and add. And uh, let's go to next, which is resource detail. Pick your subscription. Like anything, you need to deploy this in a resource group. So I'm going to pick which is already one that I have created. Now for the region, this is just for the metadata uh, uh, storing. So I'm going to use East US operating system. Since in this case, I'm talking about uh, Windows Server, I'm gonna pick Windows, but you can onboard both Windows as well as Linux machine. Now, if you don't have a machine that you want to onboard uh, with, uh, and it doesn't have internet connectivity, you can use a proxy server and you can provide the URL for that one. In my case, uh, I don't need. I'm going to ignore this, go to tag. And uh, this is another way of uh, having a good eye on what machine where that is located. Since in this case, I'm talking about on-prem data center, you can fill up and tag those resources. I'm just going to keep it uh, simple and uh, go and download the script. Not the script, uh, I will be running on my on-prem machine. So let me just go and download this. So the script was downloaded, let me just copy. And I'm going to just paste this on my on-prem machine. And uh, this is a PowerShell. So I'm going to run this with a PowerShell. Accept yes at this stage. And you can see that uh, we have executable that has been added in the background. I'm just going to give it a minute because I've seen that it takes a minute or two just for all the process in the backend uh, to be staged and I'll switch on the video. All right, <clears throat> welcome back. And you can see that as part of the onboarding process, it is asking us to go to this URL. So let me just paste this. And uh, the code is also right here. So I'm gonna grab this. Need to provide the credential who has uh, ability to onboard this machine. because MFA has been configured. So it is asking me to input the code that they will send to my phone. OK, 
Okay, so I'm trying to verify. And uh, you can see that uh, you have signed into Azure Connect machine agent. So basically what is happening behind the scene is that as part of the onboarding process, it is uh, installing this agent onto the machine and that is how it's going to interact. So as I said uh, before that, in case you don't have internet connectivity on your machine, you can use maybe a proxy machine. But in my case, I have, so it should be good. Now, if I go to just programs, you can see the Azure Connected Machine Agent is there. Now, let me just cross check by going onto the Azure portal and I should see the machine with the name tar. So let me just close this and go to the server now. And here you go. You can see that my machine has been onboarded. It is in connected state right now. What resource group it is under, the subscription, what kind of operating system. And now once your machine is here, you can have further management tools that you can apply. Now, just want to point out here that there is no specific cost for Azure. So this platform is provided for you by uh, default by Microsoft. And this can be used for onboarding not only your cloud resources, but also your on-prem machine. And if you have resources in third-party cloud, for example, if you have resources in AWS and you want to manage everything from one console, you'll be able to do that. Uh, as I said that there's no specific cost, but in case you're using any underlying technology of Microsoft Azure, for example, you want to onboard this to a security center or you want to monitor this, uh, apply policies like on those lines, then whatever cost associated with those components, there'll be, a, uh, there'll be a charge for that. But specifically for Azure Arc, there is no cost associated. If I can show you actually, on the main page, if I go, if you can see on the left side of the screen, right here, let me just close this. So these are the services I can do. And if I can go and expand my pricing, you see that uh, there is no cost for Azure Arc specifically. That is what I uh, meant. But if you're using other services, which is underneath, for example, Security Center, or maybe Log Analytic Workspace for management, there'll be a cost associated with this. So let me just go and expand back to server, expand my machine. And here on the left side, you can apply policies across all your environment, on-prem cloud won't matter. It's just taking time because uh, I just added that machine just right now. You can see you get the compliance or whatever policy you want to apply to this. I can apply update management also. So as you can see right now, enablement of uh, update management is not done through Azure Arc. So underneath it is using Azure Automation and Log Analytic Workspace, which you can configure also. You can see the whole inventory. You can see change tracking. Uh, if I go under monitoring right now for Insight, right now it is not configured because it needs a monitoring agent. But once I have that agent onto my machine, you will also get the telemetry here. You can also see the logs once uh, those are generated. Uh, what I've done is I've gone a step further. So you saw that I have two machines. So I've also onboarded one machine previously with the name on-prem VM, which is also on my Hyper-V manager. And I went a step further. I also deployed a monitoring agent on this. So if I can show you under extension, you see this monitoring agent, I went also and installed this and with this agent installed, I get more telemetry. If I can go under monitoring and insight, I can go and gather the performance uh, information, like information about my disk, what is the CPU utilization, as you can see, how much is available memory, what are the IOPS on that disk, and this can be critical information if you're trying to troubleshoot, right? You can see a lot of information is here. I can also go further into map and look into at what port this machine is talking to. And maybe I can apply a uh, restriction or open or close the port by going into the security center by using maybe just in time VMXs. And the health counter is also in preview. I can also generate alerts here uh, in case there is uh, something suspicious happening. So I can go and configure that. So in this video, you saw how to onboard machines running on-prem into Azure Arc service. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.